What's going on guys? Today I want to show you a before uh, look at the current studio and home office before I move to the other house. So let me flip the camera around and uh, give you guys a quick tour and if you've got questions about anything leave them down in the comments and um, yeah let me know what you think. All right guys here is my office and bear with me on the audio as this is not my normal setup, of course, but uh, we have a fake plant here as you come in the door. And then as I come in, you'll see I have a Husky toolbox that I use for like office supplies, um, extra video gear, my Pelican cases that I store my knives are in here. I've got some extra lights, headphones, tripod, things like that. Pelican cases, uh, office supplies. I have some reams of paper, things like that in there. Works great in the office. I have on the walls here and above the desk some GIC audio uh, acoustical panels. They really help to deaden the room and avoid echo and things like that. I have a little bookcase here with some tchotchkes on it some 3D printed things from my buddy Jerry, a spare Shure MV7 microphone that I used to use during my live streams, but I'll show you what I use now in just a minute. Some diehard books down there that were a gift from my buddy Gil. Coloring book, some extra cables and power adapters. I need to get the room cleaned up, but I'm moving. And again, I didn't spruce this all up. I didn't clean everything up just for this video. I'm showing you guys basically how my office is on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have a uplift sit-stand desk. Let me just kind of zoom out here, step back, give you kind of a big overview of my sit-stand desk there and then the recording table right there and then the closet with some junk in it. We won't get too much into the closet. <laughs> But you'll see, I just have some knives spread around. Uh, I have some blue tape on the desk as to where things belong or where they are now. So that when I do take everything apart here in a few weeks and move to the new location, I have a starting point as to where to put things. Uplift desk mat, a dusting cloth there for the monitors. I have a powered USB hub. Um, I have my work badge, my work keys for when I do go to sites. And as you can see, the cables are just kind of there. Um, I recently changed jobs and so I reorganized some things, but I didn't do a bunch of cable management because, well, I'm moving. But I do have two 34-inch ultra-wide monitors that I use. Uh, work laptop, personal laptop, keyboard, wireless mouse, um, my lovely girlfriend back in there. Uh, I have a dentist appointment. Again, just average average stuff here. So I have a Amaran 60D cob light on a, on a stand in the back corner there that I use to light my face. For my live streams and Zoom calls, I use the Sony um, ZV-E10 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, I think it is. Um, and then I do have a boom arm with a Sennheiser ME600. I don't remember the number, but I use that as a shotgun mic for my audio for the live streams and my Zoom calls. Um, I have a work phone and a regular phone, so I have a dual wireless charging pad there. I have a piece of ballistic material I use as a coaster for my drinks during the day. Uh, I have another 3D printed um, dragon, eyeglass cleaner, some more knives just spread around. I do have a notepad and a tactile turn pen that I use all the time. I closed it because it's got some work stuff on there and I can't share super secret, you know, stuff. So I did kind of cover some information, but yeah, you know, you get it. And then over here, I have another Husky adjustable, manually adjustable table that I use for actually filming. And how I get that top-down shot is I have this 
overhead rig and my phone sits right here in this phone holder and looks straight down. I plug that into the Shure MV7 microphone that has a little grip arm to the top of this unit. I use a Falconize LED panel up over here off of another Rode PS1 boom arm so that I can move that light around as needed. I have another GIC audio uh, acoustic panel there. And then really trick, I found a rack mount that I mounted to the back of the Husky desk where I put a plug strip and then that powers everything on this table. The light, um, I had other lights before, I have a charger, I can plug in a laptop if I'm working on something extra, things like that. That works fantastic. And then I've got just knives and flashlights that are typically on my desk that I use for um, size comparisons, things like that. And I also just grab these to carry and wear on a daily basis. Down here in the drawer, I have some of my measuring tools, my disassembly tools, and then in this drawer up here, I've got people's business cards, ink for the printer, scale, battery chargers again, things like that. Over in the closet, we'll give you just a quick peek. I have a heater here. I have a fan here because there is no central heat and air in this particular house. And there is a picture back over there that needs to get hung up. Bunch of dust, but hey, you get the deal. A bunch of knife boxes here, empty boxes, because I save all of my boxes. Printer, a bunch of coins and, you know, zipper pouches and things there. I have a filing counter for all my bills. I've got some... Uh, Gifts that were given to me, um, Bernie, Wayne's World, iPhone 4, Kicker Dock, things like that. Just, you know, normal closet stuff. So anyway, there you go, guys. That's a quick look at my setup. And it will be similar in the new house, but different as well. So if you've got questions about anything specific... Leave them in the comments and let me know if you would like to see a studio tour of the new house or not in about a month or two's time. By the time I get everything set up, I'm probably going to change some things around over here. Um, I've really been thinking about getting a 49, a single 49 inch super ultra wide. If anybody is using one of those, Comment down below because I would love to hear from somebody that actually uses one. Yeah, I may go to just a single 49 inch. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So let me know down below. And if you made it this far, um, just say thank you in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.